first, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I know it's been a busy day for you, but I have to ask you right off the top, how does it feel to be part of such a great film festival? And from what I've been told, you're the guy who's got the film that's opening up this, again, fantastic film festival. Oh, it's awesome. You know, we couldn't have asked for a better opening for Ruba in Toronto. This is going to be our Toronto premiere here. So super excited. Fantastic. I, I got to ask you, when you found out that uh, your film was going to be part of this, I mean, what were your thoughts? I mean, where were you and how did this all come about for you? Oh, it was, it was um, you know, we, we, I, I knew that um, Real World selected our film, but I didn't know it's going, it was going to be the opening film. <laughs> so um, it was a news through my producer, Rajis. He said, oh, we got the opening night. I was like, oh, man. I was super excited. So this means now that you got to go out, you got to get the tux, you got to get everything out because, oh, yeah. like I said, but you're the guy. Your film is the one that's kicking everything off, and that's going to set the pace for all this. Of course, yeah, <laughs> super excited and a little nervous too because a lot of spotlight on me next week. Well, from what I understand, I've been hearing some buzz about this film. I don't think you have any worries about this. For folks who don't know about the film, you kind of mentioned the name of it. Mention the name again and what this film is about. The film is called Ruba. It takes place in Toronto. It's a Toronto story. It's about a young Tamil trans woman falling for a much older family man. It's a forbidden love story. Um, that's all I'm going to say now. Okay. It's a beautiful story. You can only say that, but I'm going to ask you though how you came up with the story because it sounds like there's some realism to this. And is the realism with it connected with Toronto? Yes, so the, the, the story itself, uh, I read a short story by a famous author called uh, Shobha Sakti. And then uh, when I read that story, I said, oh man, I, no matter what, I'm going to make this into a film. So that's how it started, because it's uh, so real. I thought uh, this, is a, this is a story that needs to be told at this time. Mm -hmm. Time is right. It's about a trans uh, struggle, and trans, uh, it's a young trans woman, her struggle, and um, especially in a South Asian community. So we thought it's a, this is a beautiful love story. Why not take it into a film? But you could have done this anywhere in the world. Why did you pick Toronto? In what areas did you film this in? So we filmed in uh, Scarborough, Pickering, and downtown. The story takes place in Scarborough and downtown in the story. But why Toronto? Oh, I grew up in Toronto. It's, mm -hmm. This is my place, and uh, we have a huge um, uh, South Asian community here, and um, it fits well because it's about a tra young Tamil uh, trans woman and her st struggle and her love, right? How difficult, though, is it? Because you said it's a short story, though, but you had to build this up. What was that like to finally be able to get, you know, the beginning, middle, and end for a larger feature film? No, the... It's an idea that that matters, right? Like mm -hmm. um, ever since I read that story, it has enough enough material for me to build on because uh, Ruba was so rich, and so the short story was so powerful that uh, you know you can write, you can make two movies out of that short story. Oh, wow. That good, yeah. Who are the uh, some of the actors and actresses in the film? Oh yeah, the actor is uh, the main actor is. Uh, Anthony Dawson, Jay Sudarshan. He's the guy played uh, Deep, and which won the Palm Door in 2015. He's one of the top uh, main actors. And then the the guy plays uh, Ruba. It's uh, Amit Sandhu. This is his first film. He's from uh, Calgary. He's a very professional, very talented artist as well. It sounds like when you were doing this, they're they're because you're not giving me a whole lot, but you're giving me enough though. There sounds like there's some powerful scenes in this. What is it like to be able to direct that and get that out of the actors and watching the actors create these characters and making them more real for us to be able to be part of this story? No, it was the the story was so powerful and the actors they 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 got the uh, story mm -hmm. and they were well able to give us uh, like really amazing performance it wasn't a, it wasn't as difficult as i thought because everybody really connected to the story and uh, we were able to pull out some really good performance um, we we screened the film at montreal world film festival and everybody was applauding about the uh, performance in the film so yeah. what what do you hope that fans will get from this film when they finally get a chance for the first time here in toronto to see this i'm hoping they will uh, at the end of the day, this is a beautiful story, beautiful love story, and I want the fans to come and have a good time and watch, to enjoy the film, and then 
we, I, I want to see what's after that. <laughs> okay, so what is after that for you? Other films coming up? Could there be, as you said, the, the story is so rich, could there be a part two? Could there be something that you talk about that happened before this film? You know, there are so many things. No, there, there's not going to be a part two, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have so many ideas mm -hmm. uh, for my next films. Uh, but from now, I'm super, so fully focused on real world opening night and Ruba. That's all I'm focusing now. And you better be focused on that tuxedo, man, because you're going to need that also. <laughs> Look, my friend, congratulations on this film. Can't wait to see it. And uh, looking forward to other projects in the future. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the interview.